Check your radar. Safe. You should have a contact. <laughs> well, maybe if it didn't freeze. Don't worry. I might have a contact. It's just a training drone. It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. G'day chaps. How are we doing? So here we are. Ooh, steady on. Oh, I'll slow down. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Okie dokie. Okay, now look at the top right of your hut. You should see the target displayed. I this see will show real-time damage, shield status, and a few other things. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. That's beautiful. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. Incredible. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Now your weapons are online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. All right. Get rid of these uh, screens in front of us. Let's see if we can find him. So here we are. We're doing some basic combat training. And... So I've had a little play, I've had a little fly, I tried the uh, basic combat just a minute ago. It's hard. And I'll explain why it's hard once I get rid of these really annoying pop-ups. Um, the main reason that it's very, very hard is because I actually have to use my head, my head tracker, to, um, to, f to target the weapons. Wow, this is so annoying. So here are my guns. I'm going to primarily use the laser once I can actually find where this drone is. So I think they've... Um, it's, it's great, it's beautiful. They've not really thought through the user experience very well. It's, a, it's, an, it's stunning. I mean, I can't say this isn't incredible. The graphics are absolutely amazing. On me, rookie. <laughs> Return to training area. What did I do? Oh, wow. Okay. So it's not very fluid, let's say, this uh, this training mission. It's 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 kind of jerky. It's not really thought through very well. Um, I'm kind of getting used to the, the flying, as you can tell. I mean, that is just beautiful. These pop-ups are insanely annoying. But that's incredible. That's so annoying. Um, yeah, but I have no idea how to find my instructor because there's no kind of indication of where he is. I'm not seeing any kind of blip or anything showing up or, or, or anything. So, I'm kind of flying blind here. Um, in the last mission, as soon as I targeted them, Oh, fuck off. As soon as I targeted them, me, rookie. I could find them no problem. Obviously in this, I can't. And I'm, I'm basically searching the sky right now, seeing what I can see. And, and then we get this, this glitching as well. Definitely alpha. Definitely needs some work. As incredible as it is, it keeps on stopping like this. By the way, it does do this even in my um, my playthrough when I played without recording. It did freeze now and again, not as badly as me, this. Rookie. It is good to be in the game and just flying around. That pop up needs to go. It has to stop. They have to change that. So yeah. Still trying to find the instructor. Obviously, there's no kind of indication of where he is, even though I've um, targeted him. I've targeted the training drone. Getting nothing in response here. Can't see what's going on. On me, rookie. Returning to train. Return to training area. Okay, but it doesn't tell me where that is. There's no kind of map to show me what's going on. You know. So, as impressed as I am with the graphics, obviously, because I mean these are insanely beautiful. 
way better than Elite Dangerous. Well, no, actually, that's not fair. Oh, there's my drone. Okay, he's behind me. Let's see if we can't turn. Wow, that's annoying. He's right there, but I can't... Alright. Where is he? The shields are down, I'm gonna... Try to keep a shield between you and wow. your item. Good shot. See a shield weakening on your hut? Yeah, you didn't like that. What are you waiting for? Go finish it off. There he is. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim reticules. Those are predicted okay. impact points or pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple pips with varying lag. Each of those indicates a weapon on your ship. The computer so is trying to compensate for the varying speeds See him, it's telling me I should have a and energy targeting reticule. Obviously I don't. That's not working. This tracking reticule... Is the, the tracking system was working in my last playthrough. Um, but it obviously isn't right now. So I'm, I'm having to fly blind. I can't actually... I'm having to fire without... Um, Without being able to aim. There's nothing I can do about that. It's basically the same as having fixed weapons in Elite. The last playthrough... You know, because obviously I've got head tracking working here. In my last little playthrough, I did have this intelligent... ...aiming system. Let's see if I can't catch him here. Yeah, I'm getting a few good hits in. Proximity alert thing is kind of annoying too. <laughs> We're going to have to figure out if we can't turn that off. So I'm just trying to keep on him. Um, right now, I have the default settings on the joystick and it's amazingly sensitive. It's so difficult to control. It's really, really very, very hard. So I'm having to use the lightest touch just to kind of Oh, there's my instructor. Okay, I've got a few hits in there. But to use just the absolute, barely even move the joystick, really. Oh, and then this glitch. It's pretty bad. Okay. So again, the same as the uh, the last little intro, you can see the potential. I mean, it's right there. You can see it, and it's it's incredible. It's so impressive, but it's so buggy. Okay. Hey. It's when the head tracker makes a difference. So I can't target really. So there's something. Some kind of bug or glitch, basically, meaning that I can't target this guy. I'm having to do it all visually and manually. Um, which is kind of cool, actually. I quite like not having the help. It's just a little harder. I mean, I'm understanding that it's a bit buggy and broken, but, I, you know, it's not... It's not actually annoying me, as such. I mean, yeah. Not being able to find the uh, the instructor or the enemy was pretty annoying, and this 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 glitching is bad. But yeah, it's pretty bad. But um, I mean, it works. It works, and when it really works, oops. See, that's the oversteer, because it's so sensitive. Right, I've lost him. Where is he? I'm just going to have to kind of loop without passing out. Probably find him when he starts shooting at me. So I'm throttling down. I'm strafing downwards to try and make my turning arc tighter. Um, ah, oh, there he is. I've dis they've disabled third person in this tutorial, so I can't get outside my ship to get a better look around. Okay, 
it's just really, really hard, but on, at the same time, it's actually a really good way to get used to flying, because that's, that's the real purpose of this little tutorial, because it is so hard to hit this thing. I'm having to really learn to get used to my ship and how it works, but yeah, it really is very, very hard. So I'm going to have to go in and mess about with the uh, sensitivity. Because it's just too much right now. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to try and shoot him enough to take the shields down and then hopefully fire a missile and I think that ends the uh, basic training. I'll see, you know, in the next one we should be able to show you the uh, how the actual aiming with head tracking works. It's, it's really quite hard. Because your target reticule is essentially determined by where you're looking and it's so different from what you're used to. So Completely different from uh, Elite Dangerous. Because in this, when you, when you look at a ship that actually aims your weapons. Um, and it, yeah, it's just... It's not, I don't think, I could see it working once you get used to it, but it's very strange to start with because, you know, it's just different. It's targeting with your head is very weird. I've never done it before. Hey, yeah, yeah, okay, this is hard. And I wish I had that uh, head tracking targeting back right now. Uh, I it. Come on. Oops. <laughs> Shot the instructor. Oh, I've lost him again. Let's right, slow down so I don't pass him out. See where he is. I'll keep this just to uh, 15 minutes. You know, if I don't shoot him, I don't shoot him. I'm sure I've shown you enough. There's the uh, incredible backdrop. Oh, it's frozen. Perfect. You a good look at that backdrop. And this space station's incredible as well. Absolutely stunning. So there's there's plenty to look forward to. Once we get there and it actually works. Ah, hello. Where are you? It's behind me. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, this is when I need the target in because I just have no idea where he is. I've lost him again. Okay. Well, there he is. Ah, I have you. Is that him? Yes, there he is. Just a speck. Clipped him. Sensors are on the nose, so keep your target in front of you long enough to lock on. Okay. So I have a missile lock, but it's not showing. There's my missile lock, and I can't shoot. Ugh. Oh. It's a fire lock, it's a fire lock. Come on, just fire. Okay, there's the missile away. Oh, we hit him. Jesus. Okay. Very buggy. 
very very buggy but um yeah that gives you the idea me, let's, let's uh go. oh stop shouting at me let's let's just call it a day there and uh yeah i'll catch you in the next one once i've had a little break from uh star citizen because this is still pretty annoying right ciao on me rookie <laughs> Wish, 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 wish.